Joe Beermaster here. We have a Chrysler Mopar key, typical key, fits many models. Uh, Chrysler Town and Country. This one fits a uh, 2010 Dodge Challenger, so it covers multiple years and multiple models. I'm going to show you what to do when your battery goes dead, how to get in your car, and how to change the battery on the key fob. So the first thing you want to do if your battery goes dead, there's a valet key hidden in this fob. Just a little slide right there. And if you slide that over, slide it over and pull the key at the same time. This is a tough one, but you got to put a little pressure on it. Use a little screwdriver, and there's the key. It popped out. And so you can use this key to get into the car or whatever you have. Now, to get into the, the fob, what I like to do, you have to separate the front from the back. And what I do is I get the key, and I give it a little twist. I pry it up. I can use a screwdriver. I use a little screwdriver here. That gives you a little more leverage. You can just pry it apart. Split it open. See that? And you want to be careful because you don't want the inside part to fall out. And here's your battery. And you want to use a little tool. See there's like a little spring here. You want to kind of push in that direction. And you pop that out. So you get your new key. You can see it's positive on the bottom. There's a CR2032. You get the new key. And you slide it in from the top. So the negative will be facing out. And then you don't want to really let that flip over the bottom part with the board on it. Because... You just don't want anything to fall out. Sometimes these little buttons fall out. Not on this model particularly, but some of the other ones I've done. So, and then you just click it on. Click it together. You'll hear it snap. Work it all the way around. And then you put the key back in, the valet key. Make sure it's everything's closed up and there you go that's real simple that's how you change the key fob battery for a Chrysler key fob if you have this style that's how it's done they have many other styles but this style is very common Joe Beermaster thanks for watching give me a thumbs up and please subscribe